hey everyone welcome back to my channel hope you all doing good in this video we are going to learn how you can create a dynamic input form using livewire i have already installed livewire and also set up the base app layout for it with the livewire directives now let's create the livewire component dynamic input php artisan make livewire dynamic inputs and hit enter this will create two files one is the blade file and the second one is the class component file now let's create route for this and also create a link for this check it in the browser By the way, I am using Tailwind CDN for the UI. Let me quickly create the UI first. I am creating two inputs field and one button Now let's set up variables inside our class file. One is inputs which is an array and the second one is a counter named i. Let's create our mount method and initialize the variables
now in the blade file create a loop using the inputs array and copy all the input and button and move inside the loop each time the input array increases the new input fields are going to appear now let's create the add method and it will receive i as a parameter increase this i by 1 and push the value to the array using array push function Now bind the add function using library where click and pass the i as a parameter. Now let's test it. Yeah, it is working but let me fix the UI wrap the fields inside a div it looks good now now let's implement the remove method create a method remove and it will receive the key as a parameter Using the key, we can unset the array key, hence the input also removed from the UI. Let's bind the method to the remove button and pass the loop key as a parameter. Let's test it. Yeah, it is also working perfectly. But we need to bind the input also, otherwise the data will not persist. So let's do that. add wire model and the fields name with the index because the fields are in array form do the same inside the loop also instead of 0 you can concatenate the value of the loop
now let's create variable for the inputs and initialize them with an array in the mount method now let's test it now this is working perfectly thank you so much for watching if it is helpful do like and subscribe to the channel